What is up guys, I am Get Flanked, and I guess this is becoming a series on my channel. You're using X operator wrong. I did one about Ella, I did one about Lion, now I'm gonna do one about Vigil, and I know this title can be kind of abrasive and trigger a lot of people. Here's what I'm getting at. Whenever I make these videos, you're using X operator wrong. I'm saying that I'm seeing a lot of players not utilizing a gadget uh, from an operator as good as they could, or just downright using it wrong. And I've been seeing this a lot with Visual lately. Visual's pick rate has gone up ever since Ella lost her uh, impacts and got nerfed. So a lot of people are picking Visual a lot more. And I'm seeing a lot of people using Visual's gadget or ability incorrectly and not as well as they possibly could. At the end of the day, every operator in this game has some depth to their gadget and how you can utilize it best. And a lot of times what initially meets the eye isn't necessarily the best way or how you're going to get the most out of that gadget. I think a lot of people look at Vigil and they think if you can use his gadget to make yourself invisible to drones, you should use it. No questions asked. But that's not really the case. There are some instances in this game where it can do you harm to use his gadget and you're better off not using it at that moment. I'm going to show you such an instance right now on the screen. I'm just going to let this clip play and then we'll come back and talk about it. Now what you just saw on the screen there was me as Vigil going on a deep room. Buck comes up to the room that I'm in, drones it out, but he doesn't look behind the trophy case that I'm hiding behind. He thinks the room's clear, he jumps in, and I get an easy kill. Now if I would have had Vigil's gadget or ability activated during that time, he would have gotten the indicators on his drone, and he would have known that I'm close. He may not have known that I'm exactly there, he might have thought that I'm in the room above or below, but no doubt about it, he would have been much more cautious in that situation, and it could have led him to go somewhere else. Now, I just mentioned something very important and underutilized with Vigil's gadget, and that is the vertical aspect of it. You can use that vertical aspect, the fact that his gadget will show up on a drone, whether you're above or below, to your advantage. Right now, you're seeing on the screen, I'm setting up these holes and these barricades during the preparation phase in CCTV, and I'm making sure that they see me doing it. You notice I'm not using his ability at this point. So they're droning, they see me setting this up. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to activate his ability once the round starts here and go downstairs and I'm basically going to try to bait them and waste time uh, with all that that I set up there. So uh, once I get down here, I'm going to turn his ability back on. What I'm hoping is that they saw me up there setting up those holes. They're going to send their drones in to try to flush me out. They're going to see the indicators on their drones. And even though I'm below the floor and it's going to be a weaker signal, with all of that that I've done at this point, they're going to think that I'm in there. And that's going to do one of two things, hopefully both. It's going to waste time for sure. It's going to make them very tentative to push that site. Hopefully some utility, which you do see them use a lion uh, scan here in just a minute. And then two, I'm hoping that I can go up these stairs right here and kind of bait them as they push in there and are looking for me. So, um, you know, the vertical aspect, again, if you're, if you're really familiar with how his indications appear on your drone, you may be able to pick up that somebody's on the floor above or below. But ask yourself in this situation, if you were on the other team, if you saw the vigil making these holes and doing these reinforcements in CCTV and you drove your drone into CCTV and saw the visual indicators, would you be able to really think he was downstairs or would you think that he's in there somewhere? Um, so again, that's another way that you can use his gadget a little bit more effectively. And um, that's the big idea there. Guys, we're gonna keep this video short and sweet. The big idea here is, first of all, if you're going on a deep drone, if you're going somewhere where you don't feel like you're likely to be droned out, don't feel like you have to be using Vigil's ability. It could do you more harm than good. The other is use the vertical aspect of his abilities and the indicators that appear on the enemy drones in order to bait them, in order to trick them, in order to waste time. A lot of people aren't utilizing that aspect well. At the end of the day, guys, just put some thought into when you're using Vigil's gadget. Is it going to do you harm or good? It's not as simple as just using it every chance you get. Hopefully this helps you guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure that you like and subscribe, and I'll have more coming your way here soon.